Jesus. How many millimeters of turbo? 88. <laughs> <laughs> I had a 75 and it lasted five kilometers and I bought a bigger one. Guys, welcome to Running Joe Off Road. We're here in for a good time. Welcome back guys. Sorry it's been a little bit of a delay. I'm, it's Thursday. Ended up catching strep. Probably from the red car. Check the link below if you haven't watched that. Uh, just in Rexus here today. We're going to go take a look at a couple tires for the Celica. I uh, got a guy with some 215, 45, 17s. We're trying to do this as cheap as possible. And uh, hopefully get a good decent runner out of this. Uh, so I haven't shown you guys a startup with the uh, dash before. So a couple neat little things. The odometer, I've got 2,424 on the swap, probably closer to 2,700. Uh, my dash here says, fuck you, Tyler. I uh, just wanted to get them back one day, and I figured that was the funniest way to do it. Engine coolant temp, battery, and a trip meter. So on this tank, I got 361.1. It's actually probably pretty legitimate. I probably should add some fuel. And it says the battery voltage is at 13.8. I don't know what's up, but uh, it usually is at about 14. So I'm not entirely sure why it reads a little low, but anyways, we're gonna get driving to the location here. I'm gonna tell my Tyler to just hop in with his cigarette, his sin stick, and we're gonna take a look at these tires. Some of the unique things you see around Lloyd. Rusty. Again, certain things that you just don't see in Lloyd Minster all that often. Guarantee that these cars are on a highway test and are some sort of mule. Um, you'll hear the word mule quite often. Um, so they've got them tarped off for the night. But uh, very cool. If I can get some kind of hint of what they are, I'll, I'll uh, let you know. But. Yeah, they've got them draped over. They're running with Michelin tires. That left, that back left tire has got one that's almost exposed. Again, very cool. Cute two more over here. We're gonna take a quick peek. I'd love to be up, but I guarantee what's happening is those tire tires or this, these cars are on a mule test. They're probably camoed. tell you I'm guessing it's some sort of Hyundai or Kia but or even a Honda or a Honda yeah they've done a really good job at hiding them overnight they are definitely all the same vehicle you can tell based off of the uh, based off of the uh, rims all the rims are exactly the same they are definitely a hatchback of some sort. Maybe Mitsubishi uh, getting back into the hatchback life. I feel like that's Honda. Just that definitely looks like a Honda. Like look at those. Oh, you know what, guys? I think Honda's coming out with a new Civic that's a hatchback. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that one's a white one. And they've definitely been on some dirt roads. What is that? White, white, white. Yeah. What is that back? What is that wheel? Can you see what's going on with that wheel underneath? They've got it tied down really tight. Yeah. That wheel? Yeah. Want me to jump out? Yeah, just jump out. Don't pull the tarps up. Very cool, guys. We, like, again, like, so Lloyd's kind of uh, in a unique spot. It's right in the, it's on Highway 17, or Highway 
Highway 16 and Highway 17. So Highway 16 is a Trans Canada Highway, and it's got a uh, very unique uh, Subaru. Subaru. So there we go. There's the next gen Subaru, likely Impreza uh, hatchback. So anybody, no one, they're probably doing their highway tests right now in uh, on Highway 16 because it's fairly flat, and they're able to do their mile an hour or their mile per gallon testing so I feel like they might know something about how it goes. oh yeah they definitely do so anyways yeah very cool I'm gonna try and find some mule shots maybe of what these actually are they definitely look like the, the Subaru white 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 yeah hey yeah, we'll drive by on it after we look at these tires talk to you guys Never seen that rig around town before. Nice. Well, guys, we made an offer. I offered him 250. He's asking 370. Um, ended up that one of the tires wasn't even a matched tire. They were on some Mazda chrome wheels that honestly didn't add any value. They were pitted, corroded, rim damage on pretty much every one of them. So to me, the rims are worthless. Uh, I figured. They're sitting anywhere between 40 to 50% life. New tread depth was 10 and a half, 30 seconds. They measured anywhere between four to five. So um, one of the tires was not the same, but measured the same tread. So that's kind of a little peculiar. I don't know if it was just his spare before and or somebody's spare before and then they threw it on, but teach their own. So we ended up passing for now. I told him what my offer is. He said he couldn't go below 350. Unfortunately, he had already paid 400 or 450 for him and they didn't work for his setup. So guys, I think that's a really important lesson that when you're buying used tires, you have a tread gauge on you and then you understand how that works. Um, obviously, knowing that a 30 second of an inch is what that is, equates to how much tire is left. So you got if your tire starts out at 15 30 seconds and it's got 10 30 seconds left that you know you've got it goes to zero guys it's not two it's not it's it goes to zero uh, and that I shouldn't say that some tires are a little different but your your wear bar is kind of gonna tell you hey you should order new tires and we were only about 330 seconds <coughs> That said, those probably would have been a really good tire, but I told the guy I can get, I can get brand new. Now, granted, it's Chinese tubber, but tire. But now I, I don't think Kumo's any really any different. But I get brand new rubber for roughly, <laughs> for roughly uh, three hundred and twenty dollars, and then Tyler would just do all the labor. So, well, we'll leave it at that. We'll just do a bit more cruising around here. This thing really takes off on the uh, higher RPM bands, guys. It's second gear, or it, that's first gear. Once you get up above 3,500, the cam really starts to sing. I probably should change the cam up here soon, but Anyways, uh, we're gonna go get some coffee with some of the guys and then we'll go from there. Always waiting for dark roast coffee. <laughs> yes. Did I not say the things you see in Lloyd? Jesus. How many millimeters of turbo? 88. <laughs> <laughs> I had a 75 and it lasted five kilometers and I bought a bigger one. <laughs> five kilometers, that was it. You know, I don't even think it was even that. You know, Brian, I'm <laughs> thinking. It's like 10 years since we've been in a parking lot with vehicles together. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, I, I snapped the axle like the first night I had it all, all half tuned and it was yo, like, yo. it's still not even tuned really. It was just, uh, it's on 17 laser. pounds right now. It was, it was the first thing we were like, oh, we could still smell that Chevy. And uh, and then you pulled into the parking lot, man. You just on regular 91 or what? E85. Yeah, that's what I thought. 
Honestly. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's 90% uh, ethanol is what the test kit says. I don't know. I went to Calgary, bought six drums. Hey, bug guys. him to uh, go the long route so and I think he's going to <laughs> fucking hell guys there was a probably a mid 400 horsepower Evo here that left probably not even an hour ago and I can tell you that that truck just out accelerated that Evo by bus lengths in the same period of time. It's crazy. Crazy what a big 88 on essentially a cam and valve spring 5.3 will do. That's probably gonna be Monday or Tuesday now. Okay. Let's see. I'll be waiting for it either way. Well, guys. All right. Good coffee night. Uh, we went to the Timmy's here in Lloyd, in, sorry, Mexico. Yeah, Mexico. Um, Again, like I said, the stuff you see in 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 this town is just beyond me. Um, do you see some of the coolest stuff? You see some of the weirdest stuff. But we're gonna pack it in for the night. Thanks for watching. Sorry, there's not a ton of great content tonight. Uh, we just, unfortunately, not not much going on tonight for what I want. Uh, Jeep's in for repairs right now. I should say repairs for upgrades. And uh, honestly, I I can't afford, and, th and and this is why, and this is why you guys haven't seen much of Rexes here lately. Is I cannot afford to break Rexes right now, knowing that the Jeep could be out of commission until Wednesday or Thursday next week. So once the Jeep is tuned and drivable, I have the tune, the motors out, and uh, we're uh, we'll get her we'll get her going. We'll get some Rexes content going. I was supposed to go wheel in here this weekend and last weekend and you know what guys just timing wise this year just didn't work out for summer but uh, you guys make sure you like subscribe and uh, give me a thumbs up and uh, if you really enjoyed the content let me know in the comments below and we'll be sure to chat soon. Talk to you later.